So recently I did a video of the Nodens with the Titan Accelerator and that thing was moving pretty fast. But then I started reading the comment section under that video and uh, many of you were actually asking me to run it on the Aoming. And uh, well, the Aoming moves faster when it's in flight and it's something that I totally forgot uh, to mention in that last video. But I think one reason why I missed it uh, was because if you go to the stats here, so it actually says in flight mode, the Titan speeds up and activates all weapons, but uh, there's no mention of the flight speed, okay? Like if you go here, there's no mention of it. Uh, there's no mention of it over here. I would imagine it's probably on the wiki site or something, like some other third party site. Um, but the fact of the matter is it's not listed uh, in game, okay? So that's why I did not mention that and probably why I forgot. Um, but we are going to test it out, uh, you know, on the Aoming today. Um, I do have a maxed out one here, as you can see. Okay, so this is maxed out um, 10 kilometers an hour uh, additional speed. Uh, for those of you asking me, why did I not put, um, I guess, three or four Titan accelerators on the Nodens? It's because you can't put uh, three or four. You can only put one, which is on the Universal. So if I go to, actually, if I go to uh, the Universal here, so you can see I actually have two maxed out accelerators, okay? If I go to the Assault, it's not showing because you can't put it on the Assault one. And here's the defense. You can see there's no Titan accelerator. So you can only put one uh, on your Titan. But yeah, let's just take a look at the rest of my hangar here. So we do have the Hellburner. We have the Scorpion. And I did a video on this uh, last week. I'll put a link to that in the video description. And you should see a card uh, pop up in the top right corner of your screen as well. Uh, we have the Scarab Leech, we have the Aojung with the uh, crazy Nucleon weapons. <laughs> I actually did a video on this as well, uh, on the Behemoth, and I'll put a link to that in the video description in case you happen to miss it. And then we have the uh, Blitz with the Quarker weapon. But the main focus is going to be, you know, on this Aoming with the Titan Accelerator. And don't forget guys, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and uh, definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, definitely helps the channel out and it also helps me, uh, you know, get you guys, uh, you know, more giveaways and stuff too. So, yeah, I guess we're going to jump into a game and then afterwards I'm going to show you some action clips, uh, you know, of this Ming in action. Uh, I actually want to run um, the rocket setup as well because what I'm doing is I'm focusing on 500 meter range setups. Uh, you know, setups that you don't normally see our Mings run. And the reason why I'm doing that is because of this Titan Accelerator because now I can actually catch up. Uh, to you know other mings that might be running the 600 meter range weapons so anyways let's hop into the game and let's see how this does with this titan accelerator okay so we've just dropped in on the new factory map and i've started with the hellburner here these guys are moving right across oh geez i got him half his health's gone he's gonna have to use his ability is there another guy following him I don't know. No, can I get him? Nope, can't. I gotta stay on this beacon. I wish my teammates would get on this beacon and help me out here. There we go. Um. <laughs> and coming! Can I get him? Can I get him? Is he close enough? Uh, he's gonna be close enough here. We gotta watch out for that side. Can I get close enough to this blitz? Yikes! Yes, I got him. But man, my team just gives up all the beacons. What's going on here? Okay, I dropped in with the blitz. Oh man, my team's just getting off all the beacons. <laughs> this is why we're gonna get spawn raided. Quite often players wonder why they get spawn raided. The reason why is because they get off the beacons and they give it to the other team and you see what's happening. They all dropping in here now. Oh man. I mean, I'm gonna try to... I think this guy... Oh, I think he has a pilot. Oh jeez. We need a beacon fast. I'm gonna drop in with the, uh, the Ao Jung here. If I can try to get this guy. I'm going to have to steal the beacon quick. There's a guy to my left. Thing is, I don't have any um, last stand on my bots. 
might be able to get this leech. Um. Oh, jeez, that was lucky. This guy's gonna kill me, though. Oh! This one here, quick, leech! I gotta stay on this uh, beacon here. With that guy. I think they're gonna drop in a titan on this side. I have a feeling. <laughs> Got that guy. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. No! Holy crap, that was close. This is gonna hurt. There we go, last hand triggered. After this, I'm gonna drop in with that Ming. There we go. Okay, so now we have three beacons. Let's move this way. Okay, so they have a... Uh, you know what, this is going to be interesting because this guy has 300 meter range uh, on me. So I can use that, uh, that Ming to catch him. Okay, let's use the Ming now. Let's drop in over here. And let's see if we can actually catch this guy because... Well, look how fast my Ming is moving. I wonder if it affects the uh, flight speed because, you know, I don't actually run a Ming on my own account. I have a Nodens. Um, let's just see if we can maybe get this guy from above here. There we go. Let's get this guy. And this one here. This is what I mean, you know, being able to catch up to a player that has like 600 meter Ming. Gosh, this Ming is really moving fast. <laughs> you can really tell now. Uh, let's see if we can get these guys here from this angle. I haven't seen any authors yet. So they might have uh, they might have authors still. Let's get this guy down to his last stand. There we go. Oh shoot! Ah, oh, must fly! Must fly! <laughs> this is where it, where it actually comes in handy, being able to escape an author. Look how fast I flew this side. <laughs> yeah, now I can tell. Let's go this way. Let's get him this way. I don't know if I'm going to be able to break his uh, shield here. Uh, maybe. I think I did, but I'm gonna have to back up here. I'm taking on way too much damage. Must get behind cover! Holy crap. This guy is also firing at me from that angle. I gotta move this way. Oh! <laughs> oh wait, I can hit this guy? He might actually kill me. Nope, nope. Ooh, that was lucky. Look at my health. I had like 8,000 health left. I still got all my weapons. I think I should just stay back here and heal up because... You know what? I might as well reload. This guy's pretty close though. I need to... Uh... There we go. Just gonna heal up. I need to heal again. We're gonna be doing a 5 cap here. If I can heal one more time, that would be nice. Let's just heal. That guy's really targeting me. Okay. I'm gonna go in a flight, the game's almost over. Let's try to get him from the flank. There we go. Let's 
get him this way. That should do it. This guy too. There we go. They might have another. Better heal up quick. So, yeah, I definitely noticed a speed on the Ming, you know, in this game. And it was helpful because I was able to uh, basically fly away from those Arthurs. So we ended up doing 4.6 million, 14 kills, 2 beacons. So I think what I'm going to do with the action clips is kind of show you footage of the uh, rocket uh, setup, uh, the Sandy Rupture, as well as the machine gun setup, which is what I had right now, uh, because I think those two builds... Uh, in particular, because they are 500 meter range, uh, can definitely benefit from, you know, using the Titan Accelerator on uh, your Ao Ming. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. But before we get to that, let's take a look at my uh, teammate here. And uh, let's see what uh, what they are running, uh, you know, in their hangar. So quite a bit of uh, MK2 here as well. Also in Champion League. And uh, let's hop on over to the other team. This player is from iOS. Uh, this one's from uh, Android, and let's take a look at their hangar. So quite a bit of MK2 as well. And before we jump into those action clips, uh, let's take a look at the honor points uh, for that game. So those are the honor points for that game, and uh, like I said, we're going to jump into some action clips now. And I really want to showcase the rocket build, because I think that's another build that can really benefit uh, you know, from uh, having this Titan Accelerator. But one thing you have to keep in mind too is that if you put that on, uh, you're probably going to be sacrificing uh, either 27% more damage if you uh, usually use the um, you know, antimatter reactor, or in the case of uh, the plated armor, 27% health. So just something to uh, keep in mind. And I think that's pretty much it in terms of this video. So hopefully this kind of answers um, you know, some of the questions you guys had. And um, you know, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later. There's a lot of guys over here. Let's try to take them out. Let's get this guy and this one here. I want to see how this does against like other titans, if I can catch up to them. Yeah, there's a Nodens back there. He's definitely going to uh, suppress me. I need to focus on him actually. Okay, let's see what happens here because now I can actually gain that distance pretty quickly. Yeah, he's going to get shredded up. That's that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of damage output on that Nodens. Yep, there we go. I'm going to have to retreat here. There we go. Let's get this guy here quickly because that's a... Uh, oh, this guy here if I can. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Guys, we need help here on this right side. Someone needs to drop in quick. Oh, shoot. He's going to get that beacon. Or maybe not. Oh, jeez. That was close. We almost lost that beacon. Take that guy out. Yeah, they have another Nodens there. I'm just waiting for my um, my weapons here to reload. If I can get within range, you can see 500 already. So this is going to allow me to basically catch up to them really quickly and take them out before they are a threat to my team here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there's a guy right here. Um, we have an Arthur here, which we can probably hit with the rockets. Let's 
Let's go for this guy next. What is this guy in? Spooky. Let's hit this Arthur. And the thing is, if he has 500 meter range weapons, which he does, I can escape it quickly. So this is where I think it really benefits the, um, the Ao Ming. So you see how this guy and now I can fly in. Hit him with the rockets. Another shot. And then retreat. That should do it.